Hello, my viewers. Um, this is Ola reaching live from um, from London, and today I just want to talk to the to the ladies. How can you actually bag a man? You're struggling with a relationship. You're struggling to actually keep the man to get into relationship, and uh, you don't know how to go about it. I mean, there's a need for you to have the right tips to bargain a man. Yes. There are things that men actually look for in a woman to have a stable relationship with them. Man, I look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm a cool dude and I won't just go for just any refraff. I'm, I'm happily married, thank God for that. I'm married now for over 25 years. So, so how do I do it? How do I do it? And what are the tips that you need to be that lady that a man will actually go for? The first thing. I will say is your appearance. Many women don't look after themselves. They don't look after themselves at all. It's not just about doing a style that you think, oh, that style is, is raining and everything. How does that style suit you, uh, present you? Because your presentation to the guy actually matters most. Your presentation. You know, you have to make sure that you actually look after yourself, you present yourself in a decent fashion. Many, many women are not decent at all in their appearance. You know, if you're wearing a dress that will just reveal everything, <laughs> definitely you, 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 you will back uh, and refract. I know you will draw negative attention and men won't see you as someone that they can actually keep. You know, they, 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 they just do, they see you as like they hit a wrong kind of person. They won't see you as a decent woman. So, I mean, decency matters. And to be decent, start from your appearance. How do you appear? How do you conduct yourself? And, and so, so you see some women, the way they dress, and they have a, they, they, you, you know that the dress you're wearing is too tight for you. And you keep pulling it down and pulling it down and pulling it down. Definitely, they know that you're just, you're just a player. No, 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 no decent guy would go for that. So, um, some, some women even have um, body odor. Right? They, they have body odor. I mean, if you know you have body odor or you kind of woman that sweats and you, you have to be shaving all the time, definitely you know that that can produce some body odor. Then find a nice perfume, but not offensive perfume. You know, a pleasant, cool perfume. Sometimes even some from women perfume can be too offensive. So you have to watch the perfume that you use. Get something soft, something soft, something flowery, something fruity, you know, because yeah, the, 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 the kind of odor that you give, the smell that you give also can box you in a corner. Yes. Don't, don't let it be offensive and don't let it be overpowering. So it's not just because of it's a woman's perfume and then, then you just go and use it. That can be a friend, that can that can be a put off. And the guy that you're talking to might just want to get out of that environment. And the and that thing is for a woman, you have to conduct yourself the way you talk. Don't just say things anyhow. Don't just say things. Don't think that you know it all. Don't think that you know it all and everything and trying to give answers to every question and trying to compete with, with guys. You're a woman. You know, you're a woman. I'm not saying that women don't have any ideas or stuff like that, but if you want to actually present yourself and get the, get the right man, don't think you know too much. Be open to learning. And another thing is when you meet a man, don't just start saying what you don't like. <laughs> well, I don't like this and then oh, this is kind of... I mean, don't, don't quickly give the game away. You know, be the curious style. Be the curious type. Be open to learn. Listen first before you speak. Don't just speak anyhow. And again, listen. Be ready to for the other party to respond. Don't just do all the talking and not allowing the other party to actually talk. You are the one that just says, "No break, no jam." This is not a radio. <laughs> this is a communication, and communication is two ways. And um, don't think of oh, it's only your own idea and nothing else. Because if you are the difficult time to actually get information across to, it will be difficult for you to actually keep the man because simple things happen, and your, it's only your own point of view, and you 
get angry and you can be pet and everything. Sometimes you can you can brush it aside, you know, and move on because you want to keep this man. And don't pretend to be who you're not. If you have a weakness, let your let, let your partner know and you can know how to work with you. And you can know how to work with you. And another thing is don't punish the guy that you're with for the the, the, the sin that the previous guy, your ex, committed. Because every man is different. We're not all the same. We're not all funny. Even twins have their individual personalities. So don't think every man is all the same. You know, this ideology, oh, all men are the same. They're all cheat. They're... No, 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 no. I'm not a cheat. I've been married for 25 years. And um, <laughs> I never cheat on my wife because she's the love of my life. So um, because I'm in love with her, I can never, I can never fumble. So there are, and there are many men out there like me, you know, that they just want a stable relationship and they want a stable woman. So, I mean, you have to show that you are stable and you can actually keep that man. <laughs> you cannot keep that man. So, and you have to study the man that you are with. Study him to know his likes and dislikes. If you don't like something, don't just bring it up during argument. That's not the right time to bring to, to, to bring such, such things up. Don't bring it up during argument. Make sure you bring it up when there's no argument and uh, you'll be able to get your, get your thing across. Create a chance and create an avenue for communication. And don't just be the person that just pick on, uh, pick on, pick on fault, pick on fault, or pick on the fault, pick on the fault, pick on the fault all the time. Yeah. Fault picking and fault picking on all the time can actually be a put up for, 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 for many guys, you know. Try to see what he has done right. Try to see the good things about the person. And then you can subtly bring out, okay, areas that you want him to correct. Know how to present, you know, what is upsetting you. Know how to present it. Don't just make it all fighting, fighting, and argument and all the time. Because guys just want to calm down sometimes. It's hard stress at work. It's hard stress with his friends. It's hard stress in the market. It just it doesn't want to get to you. And now, and now being faced with that stress again. You know, I can see you as that, that shoulder to cry on, that comfort, you know, that person that you go to, you go to lady. And by that, you will back this man because you only be thinking about you at all times. So good luck in your search for the right man. And I believe this tip will help you a great deal. Thank you for listening. Make sure you subscribe to my channel with your likes and comments. And um, please watch every, every of my other broadcasts. This is Ola.